Alright, so today we're gonna be talking about two really interesting topics. This one may get you a little bit mind blown, and the first topic we're gonna be talking about is going to be about DLC 4 for Infinite Warfare Zombies, and the next one will be about Infinity War's next Call of Duty, and it may be Ghost 2 or something else, but most likely we'll have Extinction Game Mode in it, and both of these topics kinda correlates with each other, you guys will know in just a little bit, and maybe it's not Ghost 2, but it's going to be Ghost 2 with a different title, if you get what I'm saying. Anyways, you guys will know in just a little bit, and love it or hate it, but upon seeing the DLC 3 easter egg ending cutscene, it made a lot of people interested into what the next map may be, uh, and where it may go, and what's the future holds for zombies, extinction, that's right, Call of Duty, and things like that. And we know on July 20th, we will see the World War 2 Zombies reveal trailer, the next year's Call of Duty will be made by Treyarch, and after that, it will be Infinity War all over again. But with this coming up, and the hype building up, and everything like that, it makes me genuinely excited for the future. Now first of all, I will let you watch the DLC 3 easter egg ending cutscene. Shout out to the walkthrough king because uh, it's his cutscene, but check it out and we'll talk what's up uh, after that as it is really damn exciting. Anybody want shellfish for dinner? I'm pretty sure I'm never eating shellfish again. Ever. Ugh, you and me both. Uh, I am really feeling the need to get out of this place. A time period. Whatever you want to call it. Maybe off to somewhere with a little more color. Ready when you are, my friend. Oh, oh, this is so nasty. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit. If you guys thought the zombies were bad... What is it? Some kind of big... Shut up, AJ! What? What did I say? To be continued. <laughs> Alright, so we clearly saw where characters taking the soul key and leaving the DLC 3 time period behind, and now they are in space. Now notice in the back of the spaceship, there is a red light. Kinda looks like an alien head, but still unsure because this is just a cartoonish animation, so can be sure about that one, but the characters talk about some stuff and leave us with a cliffhanger. Oh shit. If you guys thought the zombies were bad... What is it? Some kind of big... Shut up, AJ! What? And my boy says, if you guys thought the zombies were bad, uh, and this boy right here goes on to say, what is it? Some kind of big, and then everybody cuts him off, so we clearly know we're in space, and we will be fighting something, probably not just zombies, but aliens as well. And if you guys did not know, I went back on Lee Ross tweets upon seeing this in-game, and this was brought to my attention by my good friend on YouTube, Equalize Espresso, so shout out to him. Now check this out, whenever you shoot the brute in Zombies in Spaceland, or whenever you get hit marker, on the Krog in the newly released DLC 3, you will see this right here. Now, this matches up perfectly. I went over on Google, search up a good little Call of Duty Ghost like, Extinction logo, and I, I will have, like, so, somewhere on the screen kind of, like, comparing both of these here for you guys. Now, this matches up perfectly with the Extinction logo. Of course, it doesn't have the red eyes on the hit marker that you get from the Krog. Of course, that's not there, but we can see the eyes that are still there, and it is the exact same Ghost Extinction logo, and if that's not crazy yet, we have a lot more now. I went back over on uh, Lee Ross Twitter, this is what I found. Now Jennifer goes on to say, and of course she at Lee Ross and said, Wish you guys did not drop Extinction, it was unique, the zombies are good, but it's the third game in a row now. And Lee Ross goes on and say, uh, who says we dropped them with the question mark? And that was at 3.55pm, not sure what the time zone was, but it was on January 18th of this year. So we know that they have not dropped this yet, and now if you actually go back and actually watch the ending of Call of Duty Ghost campaign, we clearly know, or we can clearly see that that was not the ending, that was a major cliffhanger, and that tells us that there may be another, most likely will be another Ghost 2 that will continue the storyline of the original Call of Duty Ghost, so that is that. But speaking of Extinction, we know we have seen the logo, we know that Lee Ross is saying that 
yet, it's not over yet. What I did, I actually went over on Google and searched up the extension timeline story. I will just read a couple of like uh, a sentence or two that will actually kind of uh, just sums up what I'm trying to say here. So it goes on and says uh, the following. Nearly 300 million years before the emergence of human life, the volcanic earth was inhabited by a large network of humanoid species or humanoid species cannot even talk. A and then what I did was I actually went back and watched the ending cutscene of the extinction exodus. I believe that's how it's pronounced. And that was the ending cutscene for the uh, last map of Call of Duty Ghosts. And in this cutscene right here, we clearly see the earth is blown up and we leave earth and we go to space. And in IW Zombies, we're doing the same thing. And like I said, we have the extension hit marker logo whenever you actually shoot the Krog or the Brute. So that's that. And Lee Ross is saying that they have not dropped this yet. So I'm assuming in the next Infinity War game, maybe it will be title Ghost 2, maybe it will be title something else, but it will be the follow up of Call of Duty Ghost in some way, shape or form. And I'm very certain that we will see Extinction back in the next Call of Duty, which is really damn exciting. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, hit that like, subscribe if you're new on the channel, and I'll catch you very freaking soon.